Yes, Digital Product Family. Hope you guys are well. Guys, we're back with an absolute banger. This one's the ones that you guys have been waiting for. The one that you guys have been asking for. So I thought I'll oblige and I'll create a video for you. So guys, before I get going with this amazing video, if you love digital products, you love creating, researching and making those fantastic, beautiful digital files, then please hit the like, subscribe and smash that notification bell. And don't forget to share, please, because you know what we're like over here. We love that sharing stuff. Anyways, I've been seeing a lot of comments asking me to show you how to produce that watercolor house that got some of that amazing passive income. So I want to show you on this video exactly how you can do that. People love coming on, trying to get some kind of custom portrait, um, some, some design done uh, that is individualized, is for them, whether it be a watercolor house, their own home, whether it be a watercolor uh, couple portrait, whether it be for a wedding. Um, I'm going to touch on that in a minute because I want to come back to this. But let's say, look, the traditional, the house one. Remember if I showed you that house portrait, Nice watercolor. If I just zoom in very quickly, you can see cool, nice little watercolor design um, of their of the home. Okay, of this particular family's home. And what it is is literally it's like this: is getting the photo. So you get the photo from the customers that they email to you, and you create the 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 photo. Uh, sorry, the the painting, whether it be watercolor or painting. Yeah, something like this. And there's many different types and styles out there. Like, you know, if you look around, you'll see many different types. Now, obviously, you also get a choice of canvas size. So it doesn't have to be the digital download that they get, the digital file. Because look, at the top, you can see digital file only. And then you've also got all the different options with a canvas, which you can do. Because if you hook up Printify, like I keep saying, then you'll, you'll be able to sell it with a canvas or with a frame. And I think that's a really good good option too. I mean, if I go to other ones, like this one is a couple portrait. Again, watercolor, you get the photo and then you can actually create the design. Uh, this one again, like this one's 2,950. There's no sale on it, so it's 2,950 a month. Very good. Here's another one that I'm gonna show you because there's many different niches, sub niches you can get into with this. This is the beauty about it. You don't have to do just houses. You can do like, you know, get a photo of a couple, get a photo of family. And, you know, like this one's $8,388 per month, right? The personalized gift market, really. That's what it is. And it can be for Christmas, can be for many also different gifts for many different times of the year, birthdays. So you can see how it can be lucrative. Here's one for weddings, uh, that nice watercolor style, again, from photo. Um, so look i mean there's many different and the reason why i'm showing you this look ten thousand two hundred ninety five dollars per month it's got a 20 percent discount take it into account it's in demand 27 27 bought this in the last 24 hours i mean look at these all of these are in demand right so per people like these personalized ones look at this another one in demand another one the pet one right and if you remember i did a pet portrait not watercolor style per se but I did do a pet portrait. But like I said, it can be for pets as well. This one's making 15205 Ridiculous. <laughs> that is a mad income, right? Again, it's this custom portrait, personalized gift. This is the kind of niche they're into. So it has a 30% sale. So you got to take that into account. But really what we're doing today is we're focusing on this, this, this home uh, design, right? This home portrait. Now, the other thing that you, look, 14 people bought this in the last 24 hours, <laughs> $15,571. It's massive, personalized gift market. Wow, it's huge. And again, like I said, you know, traditionally people do actually sell these as, um, I mean, look, this is a digital file. You'll get this nice watercolor of their home, digital file, as it says. Um, yeah, look, digital file, digitally mastered, and you can get an options of the digital file or the canvas or so forth. Like I said, you can hook up Printify. Um, but we're going to focus on a quick design of doing this. Now, the thing about this is that you've got to take into account is, you know, people do want, you know, there are different types of ways of doing this. You can actually ha actually 
sell the handmade watercolor where someone actually paints it or we do the AI digitally designed style which we're going to be doing okay obviously the one that's done by hand is going to command more of a price so when you do actually do your digital one obviously it's not going to be as uh, expensive okay but the market is big and I think it's a really good one to, to actually get into um, so the other thing I was going to say very quickly is if you want to actually get into a kind of sub sub niches or trying to get yourself seen is actually combine things and I said this before do a combination so not only do you do a watercolor personalized image of let's say it could be anything like this this, this is a portrait gift for a friend but you kind of add the uh, uh, an element to it like a Christmassy element or a Halloween element in this case which also adds another dimension to it and also makes it quite lucrative because what you're doing is you're going to be standing out you're going to be seen by Etsy or or the algorithm's going to favor you when it comes to Halloween or Q4 so that you're able to be seen and you can make those sales as well so add another dimension to it if not only watercolor not only personalized uh, custom but also add something else where it could be like a Halloween uh, theme or Christmas theme like this one is just so I give you an idea for that but look I'm going to show you something very quickly like this is one that I've just created myself this is a home watercolor style portrait this is one that I just did um, from the actual house image right this will be the house image uh, this is the house image and obviously um, you know this is the watercolor style right you can see the nice little brush effect mid journey is not going to be able to do it to this level you're going to need to use a software another kind of software like i said i'm using uh, photoshop i mean photoshop is the best for something like this for something so detailed intricate and needs a little bit extra mm, that extra level of skill i would say you kind of do need to use photoshop and i'll have a link in my description for photoshop for the creative cloud and like i said i mean it is an investment um it is like a monthly subscription but photoshop well the beauty about photoshop it is it is like you know grade a in terms of like software it's the it's the best and you can also use it for many other things so it won't be just doing this kind of stuff but you know you could do many many other things with it with with regards to even um the way it cleans up really nicely um, images as well it does really good jobs of many different things i mean look it's, it's it's the gold standard of software so you know you can't go wrong with with getting photoshop but we are going to be using photoshop because to be honest it's the best thing that we can use um so let's let's go ahead and and do that okay so to get started i'm gonna you know start with a new page and uh let's say you're on photoshop i'm gonna start with a width of 3000 pixels by a height of 2000 resolution obviously i'm going to make sure it's at 300 uh pixels per inch okay um let me just make sure it's at least 300 okay uh dpi we want to make sure it's really good resolution 3000 2000 pixels okay that's fine and then we'll create it okay we'll create our page okay so this is our page and the first thing that we want to do we want to bring in our image now obviously they will send you the idea is that the customer will send you either there now this applies for different things you could apply what i'm doing now for pets for couples for families for houses whatever it is whatever niche sub niche you want to get into into the kind of watercolor customized uh personalized uh, um niche you can do so whatever i do now is really going to help you for anything really so what we do is we go to file we go place embedded get the image that we want in my case i'm going to get a house uh, get the house boom there's a picture of the house okay there you go it's going to make sure that i just get it stretched slightly to the size of the canvas and then click enter okay click enter now okay so now that i've got my image what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in i'm going to create a mask wait let me just all right i'm going to create a mask very quickly that's it and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to import something into this which is uh import uh, sorry place embedded 
I'm going to get this sort of texture, this cool watercolor texture. Now I'm going to show you like this fantastic website, um, really cool website with some freebies in there that I got these um, a few things that will help your image and design. And it's a really amazing website. I'm going to put the link in the description for sure. And shout out to them because they're absolutely amazing. They've got really cool stuff, especially for stuff like, you know, this. And then what I'm going to do is, now that I put this kind of texture on top, uh, I'm going to do something with it. I'm going to go to overlay, uh, which is there. And I'm going to make the opacity um, about 50% opacity. Let me go down to 50%. Okay. 50%? Yeah, 50%. Now look, already <laughs> what's amazing is it's given us this amazing effect onto the house, like as if it's just been brushed, uh, which is amazing. Um, so let me just uh, group this together. So what I've done is I've just grouped on the... You can't see this. Let me go at the top. Let me bring this to the top so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so here you go. Just so you see, I've grouped the two together now so you can see what I'm doing um, after I put the texture in. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to convert to smart objects, right? Convert to smart objects. Now what it does is it's almost gonna you know put it all together. So instead of being separate layers, it's just going to be one solid layer, which I can work on. Because now what I want to do is, which you can see, it's all together. I can go to filter. And, and what's really nice here is that there's so many filters that you can actually work with and, and, and try out. And this is what I suggest. So when you go to filters, uh, let me just go to minus, minus. Look at this. Already, it's giving you like the flavor. Look, it's already in an artistic, cool artistic style. Look at it when I zoom in. Isn't that mad? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few bits, right? A few things that I think will add to the design. So I'm on cutout already. I'm going to go level seven, eight, and two. Okay, this looks quite nice. I want to click OK. Let's have a look. Yeah, see that? It's giving it a more that that watercolor style. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go filter again and go to filter gallery. Let's have a look and see what else I can do. I might do um, ch -ch 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 some uh, sponge. I know it actually has technically a watercolor, right? But I don't want too much of a sponge. Could do. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want it too too much. Maybe I'll go sponge at. Let me see the smoothness at possibly nine. Brush size zero, zero, and nine. Yep. Okay. I want to just do that, get that sort of smoothness to it. Look at this. You can see it as you do it. And if you're not happy, you know, with Photoshop, is it really easy? Just go undo. Just go to undo, edit, undo. Simple. Um, okay, so what we want to do now is we want to go to, I want to, we need to bring something else in. What we want to do, I want to show you that effect, you know, that sort of watercolor effect that you can, uh, that you can do on that as if like you've just brushed it like a border so i'm going to click this border and then place it okay so what we need to do next is we need to bring in like a like we can need to do a border right there's a few ways of doing a border like i'll tell you what there's a couple of ways you could do it now there's something which is called brush which is here on the side and then on the on the side you can actually choose different types of brushes um brush styles that you want and and you know there's a way of doing it where you can actually brush along the edges to give it that kind of effect okay so there's a few ways of doing this when you want to get that really nice border effect on on the edges um, which you can do so you might want to go to something like you know choose a brush style what's nice about Photoshop they've got so many different options like you can choose an effect a brush style where you're literally brushing and obviously you want to choose something. Let's go to, uh, let's go to the flow. 
Um, I mean, but this requires like playing around with different types of brushes, you see. Definitely. And then what you can do is you can just sort of add a sort of... First of all, what you want to do is you just want to rub out, come to the edges, possibly. And then just, just clean it a little bit. I mean, you know, you just have to just make sure requires a bit of work it gives it that sort of you know that effect that really cool effect that they have on watercolor images yeah so there's different types of brushes which you could actually use and it can do that that, that can be quite nice that gives it sort of a, a, an effect um that can be done but there's also other ways of doing this so you know within photoshop you can actually do this anyway um, but you know you just have to make sure that you choose the right type of brush there's loads of different brushes and also really looking at um, the flow and the opacity because obviously you want to make it look as realistic as possible in terms of what the watercolor style is um, but yeah let's say you're not happy with that um, let me just go to Control z let's say let's just say i didn't want this yeah just say just say i'm going i'm just gonna I'm just basically going back, uh, undoing it all. Um, but there is a, there is another way of doing this where I'm going to download like a border, like a watercolor border. And I'm going to show you the link in my description where you can find like, I just showed you the texture style and that border. Really cool freebies website, really excellent, got loads of things. So I'll put the link in my description. But let's say I want to bring that in. So I'm going to go to place embedded. And I'll find that border which is there. Click place. Okay, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, that's really cool. And I'll go to select. Wait, let me just click on it. Click enter. Go to select. Go to color range. Go to sample colors. Make sure that I've sampled. Click this. Make sure I clicked it so it's white. And the fuzziness is too, uh, you can do different types of fuzziness, but I would say make it really fuzzy. Probably keep it at 200. So make sure it's 200 and then click OK. Now, then what you want to do is you want to go to your texture, your uh, image, your actual house. And then what you want to do is you want to create a mask, all right? So we've got the mask now with that texture on there. And then what we do is we just delete that border because we've got the texture now onto it, onto our picture. And we delete this. So we just go to delete layer. Go yes. And boom! Chee! That's what you get, baby! <laughs> whoa check it out man and this that's it that's your watercolor style yard house look at that mm, mm, mm. look at that look at 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 look <laughs> now isn't that cool come on tell me son so that is a really cool way that you can transform your house now like i said uh, link in my description for those fantastic, uh, that brilliant website um, that had some of these freebies for like the texture and the watercolor. But like I said, you could even do it yourself. And I just showed an example of how you can get a brush on the edges and really give that a really cool brush. And then what you could do as well in terms of that sort of personalization and something that I've seen on, um, on, uh, on the websites for Etsy. So something else that I've seen on websites for Etsy is that you could also, uh, you know, you can add uh, your little personalization here where, you know, something like our first home, um, the address, maybe where it is, that kind of thing. So you just literally just jump onto your one and using T to type in something at the bottom and you just, you know, use a nice style and you type it in along the bottom. And then all you got to do, once you're happy with it, 
right so all you got to do once you're happy with it is obviously you can export this um, different ways of exporting it but let's say you export it as a as a PNG okay downloadable file remember you've already got its resolution at 300 and you got specific style what's really good with um, with uh, with uh, Photoshop is when you go to image and you look at the image size you know you can always adjust the sizes accordingly look it's got 300 res and obviously different sizes you can adjust the different sizes here and that is so easy to do in Photoshop as well because you pretty much know what you're gonna get um, so what I personally would do is I would go to the maybe sizes of uh, people that sell already just to get a real idea of, of uh, of size because look it tells you like literally what size people like okay and here you go different sizes so you can actually do the sizes accordingly pretty much if you really want you can actually create different sizes so they're all ready to you know for the for the customer the customer might want an option um, you obviously do the size that you can uh, produce it okay but definitely give the customer options but yeah, guys, that is it. That is it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. Uh, drop a little comment below. And if you need anything else, just let me know. And I shall see you on the next video. Don't forget to check out the links in my description for everything that I used. Check out the videos coming up next. And I shall see you on the next one. Take care.